You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from, uh, well, December, December 4th. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's what month we're in. Really good show. It was good. Um, we <laughs> got quality matches throughout the night. Yeah. Um, it, they kind of, it was the same thing as last week where they kind of knew that it was going to take a little more to fill time. But they decided to go a little more on the quality match side of hey, the Hey, let's thing. put wrestling on our show I, to fill time. It's been a really long time since they've done that. If they've even ever done that, to be perfectly honest. I can't remember the last time we got two 20-minute matches. Yeah. Almost well, three, probably. It, the that, main event was pretty long, too. Yeah, it, it wasn't as long as, like... Um, Roman and Jason Jordan. No, or the, or the Paige Sasha match, yeah. or the cru- the cruiserweight match was probably like fifteen minutes too. Yeah. Um, but now that I think about it, like the Attitude Era rows were a lot more filler too. Well, everything that. was gimmick based. Yeah. So, I guess we've never actually seen a focus on wrestling on a on a Monday Night Raw. No. No. I guess, yeah. <laughs> before that, it was all wrestling. Yeah. But, um. But yeah. yeah, this is a good show. Yes. To um, start us off. Yeah, so we opened up with uh, another recap of the icy title picture, mm-hmm. Roman. So we actually opened with a relevant yes intro. this time. This time that that happened, <laughs> um, but it was uh, Roman facing off against Elias last week, mm-hmm. and then uh, him getting attacked by Samoa Joe, um, and then Angle comes out <clears throat> to uh, announce Roman Reigns' his opponent. It's his appointment on the notes. That's yeah, true. <laughs> It does say that. Um, Roman is going to visit the uh, the doctor, Jason Jordan's doctor. (laughs) So uh, he's gonna he's He's gonna announce his prostate check. He's gonna announce his opponent, Mm. and then Jason Jordan comes. I was like, hold on, hold on. I want Roman Reigns. Kurt Angle's like, you're hurt though. He's like, no, I'm fine. Again, for like Mm -hmm. the third time. Um, Dad. Yeah, and then whiny uh, Jason Jordan is his gimmick. Yeah, it's it's true. So uh, he comes out, or he doesn't come. Roman comes out after that. All right, wait, 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 let's let's backtrack a second. What the man doesn't get heat; he just gets hate. Oh yeah, yeah, he got booed the whole time. I ha- I have that written down a little later. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any anything he said, he got booed. Um, so Roman comes out to. We uh, found somebody that they yeah, hate more than Roman it's, Reigns. It's true; they <laughs> most certainly did because you want to push that guy. No, no. We'll take him. All yeah, right. That's, that's pretty much what happened because Roman got a very good reaction tonight. Yeah. Um, so Roman comes out. He's like, yeah, you're not wasting my time. And he's like, I want to fight Joe because yeah. he got attacked by Joe. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Well, he said, yeah, you, you haven't earned anything. You need to, you know, daddy can't make your matches. Yeah. And, and then Jason Jordan started to think that he was John Cena and was like, oh, you got everything handed to you. And then I was like, oh, God. This is really the way you want to go about this. Mm -hmm. But if we're going for a heel turn, you got to do it. Well, honestly, they're kind of already there. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and he's got heat. It's true. Not the good kind. Well, the funny thing is in all of this that had gone that had gone on throughout the night between the three of them, you didn't know who was the face and who was the heel. Well, obviously Roman was supposed <laughs> to be the face, but No, there I was, know. There was points in time where but, Joe was kind of He got a huge pop when he well, came out. They were in California yeah. too. But that and the fact that he's kind of just all about business. Business. So it kind of seems like he's the sympathetic one. That's true. Um But anyway, he uh yeah, so Roman ch- says that he's going to oh, yeah, match with Joe. Yeah. yeah. And then Joe comes out mm-hmm. and accepts the challenge. And Jason goes, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll fight Joe instead. Yeah, or something right. like yeah. that. Yeah. It, it was a little convoluted. Yeah. And then, then what, Joe came into the ring, right? I don't think or Joe no. ever entered the ring. Okay, so that's when Jason Jordan attacked Reigns from behind, didn't he? No, that was after. Uh, I thought that happened. That's why the match got started. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, because that's right. Because Jason Jordan challenged Joe, mm-hmm. and then Reigns pushes Jason Jordan out of the way. It's yeah. so like, no, I'm fighting Joe. Yeah. And that's when Jason Jordan attacks Reigns from behind. That's right. Uh-huh. And that's when Angle makes the match against 
Reigns, Reigns and Jason Jordan, yeah. and a perspective match between Reigns and Joe later on in the that, night. Okay, that, okay. I, I felt like that's yeah. what they were going for. I was, like, I was almost texting and said, oh, wow, Reigns is going to pull double duty, but that, then... That's what they said. Okay, all right. So, so that's obviously was, not what happened. No, I, I thought I was going crazy. So, and then at this point, oh, yeah, because, yeah, because Jason Jordan hit a belly-to-belly mm-hmm. Or an overhead belly-to-belly on yeah. Reigns, and then that's when he made the match. Mm-hmm. Um, and that leads us into Roman Reigns versus yeah. Jason Jordan. Right there. It was, uh, like it was you a said, match. it was a good match. Yeah. Um, they, Jason Jordan's terrible, terrible character. Very good wrestler. Yeah. And and Roman's really been holding his own lately. Yeah, absolutely. So, I have no um, problems. Yeah, he uh, <clears throat> he's, he's become less like boring and predictable because mm-hmm. he still has the same basic moves but right. he, he's bringing a little variety into the in, into his at least the way he goes about it right yeah well i mean and he's working with better more, talent well not even that just different talent but jason true. jordan doesn't necessarily wrestle your main event style oh yeah well the big big yeah you know, strong guy yeah yeah he reigns was wrestling Strowman for god knows how long it is true as a while yeah so um, but yeah, inevitably, Reigns wins. Yes, which we did not. Oh, obviously, he's yeah, gonna win. Expect Jordan. Reigns to win. not gonna lose. No. Um, but he hits him with the spear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot the, of counters. Right? Didn't Jason yeah, he, Jordan uh, counter a couple yeah. moves? The uh, Superman punch a couple times, and then the spear once, and then that's when Ro- Reigns hit the. He was going for the spear, right? Jason moved out of the way, and then he hit him with a spear off the other rope. Yeah, or it was, like that. he rebounded off yeah. the yeah the other rope. Mm. Um, and then oh yeah, yeah. So Samoa Joe was actually sitting on a chair on yes. the stage watching the match, and it was a pretty long match. And I was thinking, <laughs> I'm like, wow, that must really suck. <laughs> Just having to sit there with an angry look on your face for mm-hmm. about 20 minutes. Yeah, at least doing take one nothing. of the, one of the uh, chairs from the announce desk. Yeah, at least those are comfortable, right? So, um, but yeah, then Joe grabs a microphone, says that he doesn't want to wait for his chance, and then mm-hmm. he rushes the ring. Yep. Um, he runs into the ring and gets the clutch on Reigns pretty much right away. Right, yeah. Because Reigns was tired out mm. from uh, J- uh, Jor- the match with Jordan. Yeah, and then I think Jordan hits Samoa Joe with, what, side suplex or some sort of suplex. Yeah, he, att- he attacked Joe to, I guess, to help Reigns yeah. out. So Joe goes outside the ring. Jason Jordan has his attention focused on Joe. Yep. Turns around. Roman hits him with the Superman punch. Yep. And so, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And this was probably brought us to, what, 840? Yeah, Something it was, like that. It was uh, a good yeah. chunk of time. Yep. But, then, you know, it was, it was good storytelling. Yeah. You know, and, and it made sense. Right. Not very often that that happened. No. So, so you go backstage and Kurt Angle's playing with his phone. No, he's oh, getting no, yelled he was on at that, on That's the okay. The second time he was yes. playing with his phone. He's getting um, yelled at by Stephanie. Yes. And Jason Jordan comes in crying and whining, saying he wants another shot mm-hmm. at Roman. And then out of nowhere, Joe comes and <laughs> so what, oh, yeah. spears him into the... Uh, well, yeah. He just took him down into yeah. the wall. Yep. Beat the crap yeah. out of him. And then uh, he, made, he made some sort of uh, remark toward about Jason Jordan, and he said it's the same thing to Kurt. I don't remember exactly what he said. Um, well, yeah, I don't remember what the words were. Yeah. But he basically, he accepts the match mm-hmm. for later on. Right. Because Jason Jordan was saying that he wanted a match with Samoa Joe. Yeah. Like we said. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Well, yeah, first he came in and wanted a match with Re- Reigns. Again. No, the first, right. no. I thought he said he wanted a rematch with Reigns. No, and then he, he was saying he wanted, he wanted Joe. Joe because of, I guess, because before Joe attacked yeah. or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Yes, and uh, and we got a video review, I guess, of the last two weeks, right? Of Absolution? Yeah, it was was a pretty long video package. I guess they want to make sure that everyone's Mm -hmm. caught up. Well, it was, yeah, bringing us right to Paige's return. Well, yeah, it was, it it was, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we got Paige versus Sasha in another very good match. Mm -hmm. Um, Sasha doing what Sasha does and selling the hell out of everything. Mm -hmm. Um, There's one point where, uh, Page was going for, I guess, a power bomb right from the corner, or like a sunset flip. Yeah, power bomb. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and that was... Page fell on the ground, little, and Sasha was ugly. going back down and landed right on the top of her neck. And yeah. of course, that looked brutal because mm-hmm. Sasha sells the hell out of everything. Yeah. But yeah, Page just like up and fell mm-hmm. instead of obviously doing it or going through on it. 
So yeah. she she lands and Sasha goes flying as if she got all of the force behind yep. it. Oh, and forgot to mention that obviously Absolution was out with Paige yes. and Mickey and Bailey were ringside with Sasha. And Alexa Bliss was on commentary. Yes. Getting very mad at Michael Cole for mm-hmm. insinuating oh, yeah. that she was afraid Great. of Absolution. Yep. That was funny. Um, so <laughs> action spilled to the outside. I think everybody was kind of getting in each other's face, yeah. right? And then would they distract Sasha? Paige then hit her with the... Uh, yeah, because she was going back into the ring, I believe. Right. And then yeah. that's when Paige was able to hit her with the rampage. rampage yeah, because earlier in the match, Paige tried to hit her with that, but then Sasha reversed it into the bank statement. Mm-hmm. But Paige but, was able to get to the ropes. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, no, this was a really good match. Mm-hmm. And we don't normally get women matches that are long and, well, of good. quality? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That true. aren't main event title matches. Mm-hmm. So. True. We got to see something different tonight. Yeah. Um, and, and the story is good with uh, Absolution yeah. trying to take over. Mm-hmm. The problem with this is the fact that they're doing the same exact thing on SmackDown. Little brother's trying to imitate Big Brother. Yeah. A and, little, it, you know. and this is just me. I could be not of the same opinion of everybody else. But this completely kills all of the... I guess the uniqueness, well, obviously the uniqueness, but like the 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 power behind the storyline because it's they're both doing the same thing, right, so right. you're like, well, this isn't really that different. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and if you happen to like SmackDown better than you like Raw, like just in principle, you're gonna be like, oh, that's just they're just doing the same thing that mm-hmm. they're doing on SmackDown, and it completely, yeah, and kills, you know. Christine made a uh, good point too. She said back. Before the Divas or the Women's Revolution, when they were all the Divas, it was all three-person teams that they had. You had a lot of... Um, it was what they did at that point. Uh, I can't remember who exactly were the teams, but somebody brought it up online as well. Are you talking about when it was the 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 Bellas and Alicia Fox? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I think it was during Sasha that era. Banks, and that was technically after it the was, revolution oh, started. Okay. But it, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe it wasn't that. It was just at a point where they didn't know what the hell to do with the women. No, yes. Yeah. Because they wanted to. That's what I meant. Yes. Well, what happened there was Stephanie came out, introduced um, Banks, mm-hmm. Becky, and Charlotte, and said, "This is the beginning of the women's revolution." And then they kind of split off a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, Becky and Charlotte teamed with Paige, and then you had Sasha with, I think, Tamina and Naomi, and then the Bellas got thrown in with Alicia Alicia Fox Fox, as another team, and that was like the major women's feud Mm -hmm. for a while, and they kind of didn't really go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that led into Charlotte becoming number one contender for Nikki's title Mm -hmm. uh, championship, and that's where it really got started. Yeah. Gotcha. But anyway, back to Raw. Mm -hmm. So, go backstage. Now, Kurt Angle's playing on his phone. Still doesn't know. He looks like he doesn't know what the hell he's doing with it, fumbling it around (laughs) and whatnot. Well, it's it's complicated technology. It's true. Those old people are bad. We hear some strumming. And Elias walks in. What do you want? He says he wants another shot at Roman. Mm -hmm. After he lost last week. Yep. But he had to give it to Jason Jordan. Mm -hmm. He He says, says, your bastard son keeps getting all these chances because, well, he's your son. And you're a terrible dad. <laughs> it's true. And Kurt Angle got very angry <laughs> yeah. about this. Yeah. And then uh, he says, there's no competition left for me, so I'm just going to play a song for everybody tonight. Yes, just a concert tonight, mm-hmm. no match. So Kurt says, I'm going to find you some worthy competition. Mm-hmm. And at that point, we all kind of knew who it was going to be. Uh, R-Truth. Yes. That's what I thought. I was hoping it was Matt Hardy. Yeah, I Because figured. they kind of had uh, they, something they, going, and then they true. were just like, Oh, wait, we can do that now? Yeah, whatever was on the table, goodbye. Well, that's 100% what was going <laughs> I on. No. Well, uh, well, I'll get into it more later. But, you know, with his whole losing streak mm. that they're talking about, they probably have been planning it for a while. They're just going to have him lose. <laughs> eventually. And eventually we'll get there. Yes. And that's mm-hmm. that's that's how that's going to go. Yep. Um, but yeah, after that, we have another Kane and Strowman video package. Yeah, this was long. Yeah, they're beating a dead horse with this one. What is the end game? Mm-hmm. I don't know. The end game is that it's all over. And we can move on to something else. 
Oh, okay. For us. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, all right. So that after that, we have uh, Enzo giving mm-hmm. a pep talk to the Zo train. Yep. And not a very good one because he kept on calling them losers. And <sighs> yeah, but luck. Don't yeah. the abs. Yeah. If, because if you're gonna hang with uh, Enzo, you got to be winners. Because mm-hmm. I'm a winner. Yeah, sure. And uh, so, but it was, it, it was you know normal yes. Enzo yelling at his cronies. <laughs> so they leave, and then he turns around, and Nia Jax is just standing there with the biggest smile mm-hmm. on her face. She says, "How you doing?" So <laughs> I don't know where they're going with this, but I could pretty much guarantee. It's not going to be good no. for either party because I'm sure it's going to be dumb. Enzo doesn't need any more emasculating, you know? It's true. <laughs> um, I think I heard someone speculate that this is most likely going to end with Nia Jax beating the crap out of him. Yeah, that's fine. So, fine which, with which that. is kind of funny. But Getting ragdolled around the ring. I mean, that is Enzo's strongest quality. It's true. Yeah. So, but it was... So, again... They did something right, and we went into the cruiserweight match after that. Yes, I, I like when they at least do that, keep it consistent. Oh, they don't do a cruiserweight backstage segment and then wait an hour and yeah. then have the match. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, they you could say the same thing for any. Oh yeah, any match. No, but... yeah. But sometimes they do that. Like on SmackDown, they'll do that. Mm-hmm. Like they'll say, they "Oh, coming time. up next," and then all of a sudden you get a backstage segment yep. with the women, and then you know yeah. Bobby Roode comes out. Mm-hmm. But, uh, so yeah, this was the, uh, second fatal four-way match. For uh, the number one contendership. Yes. So the winner of last week will face the winner of this week's match. And mm-hmm. this was Tony Nice, Drew Gulick, Al- yeah. Cedric Alexander, and, and Mustafa Ali. Yes. This, and, this was a good match, too. This was very good. Yes. Um, I was, I must say, I'm a little disappointed and happy at the same time. I, I knew who was going to win this. I just said, I, somebody's stealing a victory. Oh, you mean you know how they were going to win? I, yeah, I kind of figured that yeah. it was going to be a stolen victory just yeah. because of how... The way... Cause, how, well, because you knew that Alexander wasn't going to win. No, you weren't going to have a face versus face. Yeah, even though that match would have been great. Mm. Um, so that's why I was a little disappointed because Alexander versus Swan would have been a good match. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but at the same time, my favorite cruiserweight, Drew Gulak, <laughs> is now going potentially going to be the number yes. one contender he will face and rich swan next week to be perfectly honest i really 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 want him to win mm-hmm. because so, i want to see where they go with him uh, oh yeah and on 205 live people had like powerpoint presentation signs and everything. it's great all right so it's so good they gave us two good four-way matches mm-hmm. we're gonna get a match next week and i'm guessing that's gonna be the title match will be on 205 live probably right so yeah. that would probably be their way of kind of gaining, getting some more people to watch the show. I guess so. Now they said that they have, I think, four dates in January where the cruiserweights are doing live events. Oh, yeah. That. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back to the match. Yeah. This was the crowd was even into it. It's true. They were. Very there was excited. a one. This is awesome chant that faded away very quickly, but it was there. <laughs> it happened. It you happened. Can't take I it heard away it from me. No. Um, obviously Cedric and Mustafa Ali were the stars of this match. Mm-hmm. They, um, hit the, they hit the standing Spanish fly and then the springboard Spanish yeah, fly, which was beautiful. That's a cool move. Absolutely beautiful. They yeah. nailed it perfectly. Um, and it, yeah, he, Tony Nese and Gulak were a good part of the match as well. Oh yeah. They, Everything worked. Yes. It, um, Tony Nese went up to the top rope to do a move and Drew Gulak yelled at him saying this is no fly zone. That was perfect. Yeah. I, I was so glad they played that in. Yeah. Well, because there's been no point in time where he hasn't, where he's lost any of his mm. values. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because they, the values are above everything yeah. else. So, because there was time, like, during the Mustafa Ali feud, mm. he went up to the, the middle <laughs> rope and he was so scared. Well, they did it when he they beat up Enzo and he went up to the top rope. Uh-huh. And he said, one time only. <laughs> um so but it, it's just it's such good work yeah. um but yeah alexander hits a uh, lumbar check lumbar on check Mustafa on, ali right no the first oh the first two. one was on tony nice. the first one was on tony nice. and tony, tony nice nice sold the hell out of it flying out of the ring and then he'd hit it on Mustafa Ali, and but he, he barely hit it on him. Yeah, and Mustafa he, he just ali like, just like hit the mat yeah. like back and he barely moved upper neck first yeah 
Um, um, and then Alexander goes for the pin. Um, Gulak grabs him, throws him out of the ring, and mm-hmm. then he pins Cedric um, Mustafa. Uh, Mustafa Ali. Yeah, that was good. So and he gets on the microphone after the match, and he's all excited and everything. He's like, "You know what that means?" Well, and no, he, he got interviewed. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he they did, asked him about what if uh, what if he has to face Enzo, mm-hmm. and he's like, "That's a hard hitting question, question and, I and there's the... only one way to answer <laughs> hard hitting questions with my." <laughs> PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> and then they cut to the Titan Tron, and then you see Elias walking backstage. Yeah, he's like, oh, I guess we're out of time. <laughs> I think that's what Corey said. Yeah. He's like, I guess like we're that. out of time. We got to uh, we gotta move on. Oh, uh, so good, though. Yeah, that's great. Very, uh-huh. very good, uh, very good uh, character work mm-hmm. for uh, Drew Gulak. Yeah. I love it. So then Elias comes out, he sings his song. Yeah, he was who, hating on uh, City Californians. Of yes. Um, and then his opponent came out, and it was none other than Braun, Braun. Strowman. Um, so obviously Elias was very scared at this point. Mm-hmm. He tried to so, run away. Yes, tried to run away. Tried to, you know, get Braun from behind. I think he was successful for he a bit. He hit him with the guitar. Yes. So he went outside. Right? It was outside the ring where he hit him with the guitar. Mm-hmm. He hits him with the guitar. Braun no sells it. Oh yeah, it was like he, <laughs> he got hit with the like a paper towel. Oh yeah, <clears throat> and uh, and he gets him in the ring. Yep, he starts throwing the ring steps in the ring. He well, almost hits him with. Well, the... first he hit him with the running power slam to keep oh, did him he? stationary. Oh, okay, yes. And that's when he went outside, grabbed the ring steps, mm-hmm. threw him in the ring, and like you said, almost hit him with yeah. the steps. <laughs> that's what happens when you launch it halfway across the ring. <laughs> Those things kind of get out of control. Yep. And then. Uh, Kane's music hits, and mm-hmm. he appears on the screen, and he challenges us to a match next week. Yes. So, should be an Inferno match. That'd be cool. I like Inferno matches. There hasn't been one since, uh, when do you think the last one happened? Because oh. I know the answer. No idea. It was probably the Kane versus Big Show? No. You'll never guess who it was Mark against. Henry? No. Think more recent. How, how recent are we talking? It was, it was a few Bray years Wyatt. ago. Bray Wyatt. Yes. Yeah. SummerSlam right. 2013. Okay. That wasn't that long ago. Yeah. That's why I said it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Um, it, uh, let me rephrase that. It was 13 or 14. I'm no, not whatever. sure whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, they should have had some sort of gimmick match. I mean, there's still time for them to there's, do it. There's a lot of time. But just this, to have a regular f- match between them would be kind of gonna. It's going to be another... Like ending without an ending thing. I really hope not. It's going to be. I know. Um. So yeah, that's very exciting stuff. Yep. <laughs> Moving on. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, backstage we have, uh, I guess, in the locker room, Roman tells Dean and Seth that it's their turn to to win the titles. Yep. As he's holding his belt, you know, mm-hmm. patent. I did my job tonight. Now it's your turn. Make me proud. Yep. And D- Dean goes, <laughs> "Wait, our title matches tonight." <laughs> Huh. I was like, nah, I'm kidding. I knew about it all the time. And then he starts sniffing around. <laughs> Smells like gold. Yep. That was weird. Yeah, that's Dina for you. Yep. And we get another women's match. Yes. I, I Os- like this one better Oscar than is the Dana feeding ones. on the, well, the bottom feeders of yes. the division. So, um, very much like they did the last two weeks, Asuka comes out, mm-hmm. and while her opponent comes out, they have a little backstage or like a, a interview, interview thing, mm-hmm. but this is Alicia Fox, and she's a lot more entertaining than yes. uh, than uh, Dana Brooke is. Mm-hmm. She's like, "Oh, I got this," <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's wearing a captain's hat and everything. Yeah, she uh, she had gotten more offense in than uh, Dana Brooke did. Yeah, it was funny though because during the match they were saying how no one's gotten this much offense on Oscar in a while except her debut match was yeah. a a very competitive yeah, match yeah absolutely so but, but we don't talk about people who don't work for them anymore so yes so uh, i was blacklisted bit, yeah it, it's just funny because it was less than a month it was about Probably a month, a month ago? ago yeah well it was at no mercy wasn't it no was DLC. it see was TLC? Yeah. All right. So that was at oh, the end yeah. of October. Yeah, yeah. So it was about a month and a half ago. Yeah. Um, and it's like it never happened. Pretty much. Um, but yeah, not surprising. Uh, Oscar makes her tap out to the armbar again, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. 
I don't know about again. Well, I mean, she used the move on uh, Dana Brooke last week. I thought she had her in the Oscar lock. No, it was the arm bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess she wants to use the Oscar lock for actual I guess so. So, Um, yeah, after the match, Absolution comes out, mm -hmm. surrounds the ring, kind of give the stare down to both of them. Mm -hmm. Paige gets in the ring, tells Alicia Fox that she loves her. Mm Mm-hmm. She was the only one who was her friend. Yes. She's like, but unfortunately, Mandy and Sonya don't feel the same way about you. And I think Asuka backed up and got out of the ring already. That was Asuka's time to leave. And then they beat up Alicia Fox. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yep. So either this is leading to a feud between Paige and Asuka, which is a bad idea, um, or... You have them team up with Asuka and have Asuka be like a leader. But at the same time, that kind of is a bad idea as well. Then you're just going to squash everybody else in the women's division. Or they're just trying to make Asuka the one that they're afraid to mess with. Hmm. Or they have no idea what the hell they're doing. Yes, true long haul they're just you know doing it week by week yeah um, but that would that would be a what but yeah, I'm no, no, it kinda, going for. It, i think it's more or less them saying hey we uh we hear you knocking we see you here we, we don't want we, we don't mean any harm we yeah. just we respect you it's kind of like with braun yeah where like people know about him and if they happen to be around him when so they kind of stay out of his way yeah because they've done that before yeah where they have like destructive forces that they People just try to avoid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but we just weren't sure how they were going to handle Oscar. So it's true. It's always a question mark when someone comes out to uh, get in Oscar's face or just kind of have a stare down. Yeah. So th- this, if if they're going for okay, or we're, we're afraid of her, so we want to stay away. Yeah. That's good because it works. you know it keeps Oscar dominant, uh-huh. and at the same time, it you know you have another big force. Yeah. That people can really kind of get behind. It's true. So. Yeah. So that brings us to our next match. Finn Balor versus Bo Dallas. Yeah. Um, I think they had like a WWE.com thing before the show. This, yeah. Said that uh, Bo Dallas wants to take on Finn Balor for reasons. I don't remember what they were. Yeah. Psh, I don't know. Um, they came out to the Miz's music. <laughs> yes. Not a surprise. To, in honor of him. Yes. Uh, Bo Dallas got way too much offense on in this match. Yeah. That was not a good showing for mm-hmm. Finn's sake. Because well, he looked like he... He was on even footing at some points. Yeah. So... Um, Which is fine. I mean, for... It's not fine. No, for, for Bo Dallas against weaker opponents. But against someone like Finn... Well, that's just what I mean. This yeah. is all about Finn. This has nothing to do with Bo. They don't know what to do with him. Yeah. No. Vince doesn't like him. If you believe the rumors. <sighs> He's not over. He's not over. <laughs> Those, uh, Finn that was going was really funny. He was having fun with it. Yeah. Um, um, that uh, I'm, I'm not over cooking turkey yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he had a whole bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. And it's another example of uh, people using social media to get attention. It's true, but Finn gets huge pops every time. Oh, yeah, everybody Always loves guaranteed. Him. Yeah. It's just they don't know what the they, hell to they do. Ha- with them. They had a poll on oh, WWE.com yeah, yeah, yeah. who, who should face Brock Lesnar next, yeah. and Finn won. Yeah. Nah, we can't push that guy. Which, I mean, come on, let, let's just think about it. I, I know WWE thinks we're all dumb anyway. They're fans. All right, so Brock put on a hell of a match with AJ, mm-hmm. and Finn Balor beat AJ. Mm-hmm. So. That'd be a pretty hmm. good precursor to. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's as simple as that. That guy's the size of those cruiserweight and, guys and, that I don't like. And, <laughs> And that could be Finn's way of bring, you know, bridging this the gap of this match and be like, hey, look, you just barely got past AJ Styles, mm-hmm. and I beat AJ Styles. If they do go with it, that's probably what they go with. That makes sense. But for now, they're, just, they're making it look worse and worse. <laughs> Whatever. Look, I mean, he's not getting anything. Just no. throw him in a match Garbage. and get him, out, get him he's, off the show. He's, he lost to Kane. He came out last week and got beat up by Kane. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, he won by DQ, but that doesn't do you yeah, any it does, good. Yeah, it doesn't help. He wasn't standing uh, tall. Yeah. Um. Anyway, 
This is not good news for Finn. Hopefully, it gets rectified soon. Yeah. This could be just the... We got a long time before we're on pay-per-view again. two weeks, we're going to hear Brock's opponent. That's what is being said? That's what's being said, yes. All right. We'll see. All right. So, up next, we get the introduction of Woken Matt Hardy. Yeah. All right. So, here's how I think they should have done it. All right. He should have continued down this path of destruction, mm-hmm. so to speak. His final breaking point? Losing to Kurt Hawkins. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, for realsies, though. <laughs> I hate you so much. Be- before, or um, let's let's talk about reality here. Yeah. Um, so what they should have done is... Because after his little, I guess, seizure fit last week, they should have had him come out for another match against someone who isn't Bray Wyatt and then lose, ultimately. At that point, he does more of the delete stuff, Mm -hmm. and then he grabs the microphone and goes in between normal Matt Hardy and Woken Matt Hardy. Yes. And then... You can have this, right. or have something where they're face to face in the ring. Mm-hmm. So that would that would be what I would say would be the correct mm-hmm. choice of the way to do it. Yeah, but um, the way they did it for what it was, it was good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. If they were gonna rush it or jump right into it, that's it was yeah. fine. Um, so basically what happened was it was a back and forth between Bray Wyatt and, and Woken Matt Hardy. Yeah. Um, and for the first time in a long time, you actually cared about what Bray said. Bray Wyatt had direction. Yeah. He wasn't talking about nonsense. Well, the, but then again, when you're having a back and forth, it's easier to... That is true. He's not being told to fill time. Right. Yeah. So... Go out here and tell everybody they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that is a good point, but... You know, it felt like Bray had purpose. Mm-hmm. So if this is what it takes to make Bray feel important and, and at the same time giving Matt Hardy something to do, that's great. Yeah. I'm actually okay with the feud that Bray Wyatt's involved in. I know. It's weird. But they need to give it time. They do, but they have all the way until the rumble. No, no, no. I don't mean... Oh, you mean on TV? On TV, yes. Yes. Yeah. But they, this was what a two minute segment. Yeah, but that's fine. If they do little things that where they don't have matches over and oh, over. Oh no, no, again. no, they can't have matches. Yes, no, no, that's no. that's good. I like it. If they have a little bit, a little bit here and there over the next few months, or the next month and a half, yeah. and then have a blow off match so well, that Bray Wyatt's not in the Rumble, so people can't get pissed off when he doesn't win. <laughs> Wait, people get pissed off when he doesn't win. But people care. He's one of the people that that the fans want to see succeed. Yeah. Remember what happened in his uh, championship match at WrestleMania last year? It was year. horrible. Or this year, I should say. Yes. It was horrible. I know. But it doesn't change the fact that the fans still like him for mm. whatever reason. We did get to see projections of bugs on at WrestleMania. Yes. At WrestleMania, that was, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. And it did not translate to the live audience, which no. is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully this... Uh, they really take this woken thing and yes. run with it. And yes, the crowd be... loves it. I I, I saw uh, somebody posted up on Twitter. It was, I think, a little while after Raw had ended, or maybe it was the, the next morning. Mm. Uh, they were just showing the views on YouTube videos of WWE, and like the main event had like twelve thousand views, and the woken Matt Hardy promo had like eighty thousand views. Mm-hmm. So. They love them some brokenness. That's it. Or woken. Woken, yes. Well, I understand why they went with the woken thing, so they can own it. Oh, this yeah, This is yeah, WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he said, I think Matt said he will forever be broken, but now he's woken or something. Mm-hmm. And I mean, he, you know. I don't think anyone expected him them to literally say broken. No. So. Well, whether I'm sure or not, some people were mad about it. Well, well, whether or not they had the ability to or not, they would have gone with their own. Opinion. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that um, was a smart thing to do. That's true. Because now it's theirs. Mm-hmm. No more cease and desist. Exactly. <laughs> Except for the... The, uh, the buckaroos. The, the super kick parties. Yeah. <laughs> it's a so super that, kick party. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to our main event. 
Um, we got, a match we've never seen before. No. Uh, Dean and Seth versus Sheamus and Cesaro mm-hmm. for the Raw Tag Team Champions. Yes. Championship. Yes. Kind of know, standard here. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it certainly looked like Sheamus was all right. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, he said he's been... And now I'm thinking, I don't know. Somebody said at first it seemed like he was kind of off to the side, yeah, not doing a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, because I guess he had posted online or but he he something. had taken some pretty. I know he did take some bumps. nasty bumps. Yeah, but apparently so, he's been dealing with a neck issue for a while. Yeah, um, but he was also off last week, so there's a chance that I know it's only a week, week, but there's a chance that like maybe he had some kind of. I don't know, procedure done yeah. or something like that. Give him a cortisone shot and send him out there. That's true. That would work. Yeah. Those things are awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, this, this is standard. Oh, yeah, absolutely. For these four. Absolutely. And that's not a bad thing. Yeah, it was, like it was a good said. match. It was a good match. Um, um, Rollins got isolated for the mm-hmm. large majority of the beginning of the match. Yep. Um, Dean finally gets the hot tag. Mm-hmm. Um, so, it, it, moving forward a little bit. Rollins uh, gets back into the ring. Yeah, and, this uh, this was a beautiful spot. Yeah, Sheamus was on the top rope. I think. I guess he was trying to do something to Dean. Rollins runs in and hits him with a superplex, and then rolled him into a Falcon Arrow right yeah. after. It was absolutely beautiful. And, and it's and concerning that he did it to Sheamus, who is a, a good mm-hmm. majority bigger than yes. Rollins, and obviously Cesaro too. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a good spot. Yeah, and Cesaro, um, he's just a freak. The guy he's so strong but all it is is muscle on his entire body yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's just amazing yeah it's true because um, he's not a huge guy like he's very small compared to sheamus but yeah um so i believe it, uh, finally uh rollins hits the knee on sheamus th- on uh, cesaro i think so but cesaro rolled out of the ring didn't he no um he he uh rollins went for the knee mm. cesaro blocked it um he uh, like evaded something and then rollins was eventually able to hit the knee uh sheamus comes over breaks up the tag goes nuts doesn't stop beating mm-hmm. down on rollins that's what and then the ref threw the match yes out. so sheamus and cesaro retain their mm-hmm. ma- titles uh because they were disqualified yep they go to the, to, up the ramp kurt angle comes out like nah we're not doing that like this and then he's like we're start restarting the match with um no disqualification. Mm-hmm. So, Dean and Seth wait for them to walk towards the ring. Yep. They both do suicide dives and beat up the champions. Mm-hmm. Um, they, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Okay. They, yeah, they start to set Cesaro up right for their uh, the dirty the, deeds, yeah, the dirty knee, knees, knee thing combo, and then Joe comes through the crowd. Yeah. And then at this point, you see Roman Wright come out. Well, where he took, attacks. It took him a little yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. He seemed he, like hobbling down the road. Yeah. The, uh, but he eventually meandered his way down to the ring, mm-hmm. chased Joe out. He runs into the crowd. Yep. Um, this allows, I guess, Dean and Seth to get distracted. Yeah. Sheamus hits broke kick. Seth with the. No, I think it was Ambrose. Kick. Oh, was Ambrose? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he hits a broke kick on Ram- Ambrose, and mm-hmm. then they win. Yep. So now. We have uh, we have three new opponents, not three new opponents, but three opponents for the Shield. Yeah, and that means we're going to have a six-man tag at some point in the next few weeks. You built to something. That's true. Now you have something you rep- for next week's main you event. You replaced The Miz with Samoa Joe. Which is fine. makes sense, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, and, and look, Joe and Roman have a feud going. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. They're, They're able to put something together. Exactly. Look at that. Simple writing. Yeah. But the three, uh, Joe, Sheamus, and Cesar, retreat through the crowd. Yep. Well, happy the shield excited. stare at him mm-hmm. from the ring, and uh, that's how we end the show. Yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, I mean, this is amazing that they're able to fill time with a good show. Mm-hmm. It's not it, something we ever thought we'd see in our lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's 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 true. And this that's time of year they got over a month till the Royal Rumble. Oh yeah, do you do you think that this is like a dead zone? Right. Yeah, but. Like, they're, maybe they're, it's just their time to try things out it's true so but yeah so that was our raw review if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye